welcome to Moose Mischief, where we have a fantastic time creating art, making crafts, and conducting science experiments. These white roses need some color, so today I'm going to show you how to dye them red, yellow, green, and blue. Here's what you need. Roses, obviously. Yellow, green, blue, and red food coloring. Four glasses filled a quarter of the way full of water. And scissors. Now let's play with some color. Let's start with a yellow dye and put 20 droplets into the water. Help me count to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20! Woohoo! Ooh, that looks so pretty! Now you'll do the same thing with the green, then the red, and blue. Okay, let's put three roses in each glass. But first we need to cut off the stems. I'm cutting the stem short so the flower changes color quickly. The longer you leave the stem, the longer it will take for the flower to change color. So you will take the roses over to the sink and you will turn on the water. And while the stem is under the water, you will cut it at an angle. This will ensure that the rose drinks the water. Now let's add some color. So we'll leave them overnight, and in the morning they should be bright and vibrant. Wow! Look at our flowers this morning! They're so beautiful! The yellows turned out so gorgeous. And look at these greens! And the blue, they just came in a little bit, but it looks gorgeous. And the reds, lovely! So now let's put our flowers into a vase with some fresh water. Now that your roses are all done, you can give them to someone special for Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, a birthday, or just any special occasion. I had so much fun dyeing these flowers with you. If you had fun too, like the video below, share it with a friend, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, check out my book, Moose Mischief, A Pancake Surprise. You'll love it. I'll see you next time.